<laughs> Let me ask you a question. Have you heard of a game called Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle on the Game Boy? Possibly. Ringing a bell? It's ringing a bell, yeah. So it's a little platform game. <laughs> we all know the music, we all know it. Basically, I'll tell you how this came about. And it is because I had Bugs Bunny on the Game Boy as a kid, and it was very, very good. And then, you know, as an adult, you get back into collecting things, and you go, oh, do you know what, I'm going to get some Game Boy games. So I go on eBay, and I can find Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle, and then I can find Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle 3, and Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle 4. I'm thinking, ah. Oh. Where's two? So this, this is about the time I started to get a little suspicious. Started doing a little snooping around. That is when I discovered the greatest cover-up in history. <laughs> <laughs> so what won't come as a surprise to you is that the Bugs Bunny is a port of an NES game. That's not too strange. What also isn't particularly strange is that the Japanese version was different. So you know like Mario 2? Because it was too hard for the, uh, the Western market. Yeah, so the, yeah. the Mario 2 that we got was a reskin copy of a Japanese game called... Pokey, Pokey... Doki Doki, Doki Panic. <laughs> Doki right? Doki Panic, Doki yeah. Doki. So that's kind of one of those good video game stories. So this is where it starts getting fun. So Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle started out in Japan as Who Framed Roger Rabbit. <laughs> Okay. They came to release it in the West, but the rights had already been sold. There was already an NES game for Roger Rabbit. Basically, the Japanese, they came to release this game, and they're like, well, we've got a game. It works. Yeah. We just reskin it. And they were like, what other rabbits are there? And they basically just licensed Looney Tunes and just reskinned the game and released it as Bugs Bunny. And you think, well, that's a good story, Matt. Thanks for letting me know. That's a good story, Matt. Don't worry, mate. Just get ready, because this is, this is like, <laughs> get another pair of socks on, mate, because this is about to blow them clean off. So it starts <laughs> as this Famicom game, yep. Roger Rabbit, comes over to the NES. It's Bugs Bunny. They then release Bugs Bunny on the Game Boy, but then when they go to release the game on the Game Boy in Japan, the Roger Rabbit license has run out and they couldn't get the license for Looney Tunes anymore. So they reskinned the game again. Again, Mickey Mouse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. The game is called Mickey Mouse. But it's, but it's the same, it is, it's the ported game that turned into... Identical. It is absolutely identical. Same level layout, same music, same title screen. But they're now all different companies as well. Yeah, they've licensed now, <laughs> at this one, they've licensed three different licenses. So then you go, okay, fine. So then they come to do a sequel, which is released in North America as Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle 2. And it's released in Japan, Mickey Mouse 2. Fine. Great. Yeah. When they come to release it in PAL, Hugo. 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 <laughs> the, the famous ITV mascot, Hugo. I've got, I've got no idea what Hugo is or looks like. Don't worry. Do you remember him? Do you, no. do you remember? Right? So there you go. You've got Hugo there. Garbage. Right. So the third one's going to come out. So the third one comes out in Japan first. Mickey Mouse 3, Balloon Dream. Okay. Now this is done on the Famicom. So when they come to do the NES version, North American only, what is it? Bugs Bunny. No, that's right. Kid Clown. Who? Kid Clown. Don't worry, there's Kid Clown. Fucking hell! <laughs> so Kid Clown in Nightmare World, which is a sequel to it. Nightmare. Nightmare. Yeah. Minions Dungarees. What game are we up to? We're now up to the third game in the series, which yeah. is actually the fourth game in the series. Okay, sure. All these games are developed by the same company. Right, so Mickey Mouse Look 4. Look the output. That's yeah. what their bosses are saying. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. We got Kid Clown, Mickey Mouse. Roger Rabbit, you go. <laughs> Mickey Mouse 4, The Magical Labyrinth comes out on the Game Boy in 1993. North America, have a guess. I might get this right, I reckon. Fido Dido. Is it? <laughs> no, that's fantastic. What a guess. No, the real Ghostbusters. Fucking <laughs> what? The Ghostbusters. When it came out in Europe, Garfield. <laughs> the famous newspaper strip cartoon <laughs> character. Collecting up all the la lasagna. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And then they just reskin the lasagna as a ghost, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely fucking bananas. Mickey Mouse 5 Magic Wands comes out in Japan and North America, and then only in Germany in Europe, where it is called Mickey Mouse 5 Zauberstaber. So if you lived in Germany, you bought Mickey Mouse, Hugo, Garfield, then Mickey Mouse 5. <laughs> so that's it. But brilliant. Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle 3 comes out on the Game Boy. So you notice how we haven't spoken about Bugs Bunny for absolutely ages. Yeah. Bugs Bunny 3 then comes out in Japan, where previously no Bugs Bunny games have been released. Yeah, but what have they called it? In Japan. <laughs> Bugs Bunny 3. <laughs> it goes Mickey Mouse 5, yeah. Bugs Bunny 3. It's like I'm calling the pools. <laughs> 
So this is where I, my original quandary comes from. This is me buying Bugs Bunny 3 and going, I Where's wonder what two? other games are in the series. And then that's when I fell into the depths of madness. Bugs Bunny 4, same thing. It's, just, it's called Bugs Bunny 4 absolutely everywhere in the world. To maintain continuity, the Japanese re-released Mickey Mouse 1 and 2 on the Game Boy as Bugs Bunny Collection. <laughs> And then the final icing oh on the God, cake. Oh my God, there's more stuff here. Have I got a guess? It is called Crazy Castle 5. So it's only the Bugs Bunny games that have been called, called Crazy Castle. Kid Clown in Crazy Castle 5. <laughs> go, go, gadget. Is it Go, go, gadget? What's that? It's, it's Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy Castle 5 starring Woody Woodpecker. I think we've got about 15 games. We've got nine different sets of IP that have all been licensed. We've basically got about 10 years of them going, what are we going to do next, lads? You know, what IP are we going to buy and adapt next? It's absolutely crazy. You, can you imagine me going Taz. through this? <laughs> Taz, Taz and Freddo. <laughs> like <laughs> Bert and Ernie 7. <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? Like, I've got a map on my wall with pins and all the bits of string connecting it up. So how are Chemco doing these days? Still going. Yep. Yep. Bugs Bunny 9. Thank you, Matthew. That was a that was a very fruitful use of our time. I'm glad you agree. I'm glad you see it that way. If you know one of those blokes down the pub who's like, oh, actually, Mario 2 was originally called Doki Doki Panic, you can be like, shut up, mate. I've got a story that is going to blow you out of the water. <laughs> Quick, look at this. Look at this Venn diagram. <laughs> yeah.